Everybody grab a broom, and we shall get started. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Boo! Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up! Up! Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up! One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now. For your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. Ah, the brooms huh, are school I think property. I'm getting the hang of this. I want them returned in one piece. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! Aha! Brilliant! Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <laughs> Made it. Oh, did anyone else see that? I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We met in the common room. I'm Everett Clopton. So, care to join me for a bit of high-flying fun? I can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens. The Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? 
Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. Like she's already dismissed Carl. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit, those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favourite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Meet here I come. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. 
talking to myself. I'm Clementine Willetsy, charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes, if you wouldn't mind. What were the horrible stories you were told about the Forbidden Forest? Oh, goodness, everything from students being mysteriously beheaded to terrifying spider dens. Oh, trust me, you hear that at 11 years old, it sticks with you. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. Don't forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the Forbidden Forest. Good luck. New face! Wonderful! Hello. Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows... Wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? That item is of the highest quality. That item is of the highest quality. That item is of the highest quality.
You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Nice doing business with you. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you! I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. Sounds as if you took Kagawa's class. I did, but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the Cannons or Puddlemere United. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match, seeing flyers manoeuvre the way they do. Oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade?
<laughs> there they are. She wasn't making it up. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willardsy might get an answer about these butterflies. seen better days. It seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. about the butterflies. Hello, Miss Willardsy. Well, what happened? Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely. I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. Oh, perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see, should I dare.
Did you get your bit of root from Pippin? Or did you pick it yourself? Oh, I'm desperately in need of something. Perhaps you can help me. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. stopped me and I... Merlin's beard! I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. 
I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? Hmm, he must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Splendid. Cast Evanesco on those chairs. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that... goodness? My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Oh, dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! No, not uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? What was that? Was that a golden snitch? 
Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Akio. can find us in here. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are! Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep-seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource.
I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room.
I've more to teach you about transfiguration, if you have a moment. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I have the Moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Shall we move on? I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it.
Revelio. done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience? Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie, as if I'm in the Forbidden Forest, surrounded by shadows. Hmm, oh, sounds perfect. Hmm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spell crafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Hmm, oh, sounds perfect.
I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I'd like the room to be warm and comfortable, as if I'm floating inside a mug of butterbeer. Oh, sounds perfect. 